I have been looking since I joined as artistic director for pieces of repertoire that could be unique to English National Ballet. A very important part of that artistic vision is precisely to keep the classics alive. And that means sometimes challenging the tradition and sometimes just changing the tradition. Um, and in the case of uh, Raimonda, it's uh, more than anything the most extraordinary score ever written for ballet because it is genuinely exquisite and overwhelming. Glasunov is an extraordinary composer. The fact is that it is a piece that is not presented because it is problematic in its narrative, but they artistically deserve to be preserved. The original Raimonda was very much based on the Crusades, with all that that implies. And I felt that especially in today's world and in the modern audiences of the United Kingdom, that historic framing could not be acceptable. In this case, the music was already there, and I was very clear in my mind that I wanted to present as much as possible of the traditional choreography of Petit Pas. Um, this is not, as it were, a new creation. It is very much an adaptation in the same way that theatre directors will adapt Shakespeare's canon. Um, in a way, I'm adapting Petit Pas canon. And therefore, I looked at other wars where those challenges could be reframed um, and also at a war that will feel quite close to the British traditions and, and, and culture. And it seemed that um, the, the Crimea war was kind of the perfect war because it unlocked that um, difficulty of, of, of having uh, good people versus bad people. One of the challenges that I've had with classical repertoire as a performer myself is that very often um, the female lead is a very thin character. I wanted to, to make, um, especially in the case of Raimonda, who is in the ballet throughout, but we don't know anything about her. And I wanted to flip that completely and for her to be the reason for the ballet since it's called after her. The beauty about the Crimea War is that it's the first war where the women were actively involved in the war. But I, what I wanted to show was that at that time, it's kind of the beginning of the change of the role of women in British society. Raimonda is inspired by Florence Nightingale. She is a woman that comes from an upper class, but that wants to have an impact in the world and wants to have a, an independent life that is not dependent on marriage. The fact that Florence Nightingale herself was not a great supporter of the suffragettes, um, she, in her role, in her decisions, in her personal life, was fighting for the same freedoms. It was supposed to premiere in the year of the nurse and the midwife. That was in itself a surprise. I, I didn't realize that was happening. Then, obviously, the pandemic happened. And now, yes, I feel it's more of a homage to all those women and men that sacrificed so much to take care of others. But it, it is inspired by, by nurses, but the story is also about other things. Um, it's also about war, it's about duty, it's about patriotism, it's about cultural clash, it's about so many things. <laughs>